Welcome. This is Meditation, and I'm Rebecca. And I invite you to sit comfortably as we go through our meditation. Um, sitting comfortably is important to me. In some meditation uh, sessions, people will say not to move at all, and that is not my philosophy. If you become uncomfortable at all during your meditation, please move and uh, readjust. But try to avoid the, uh, <coughs> pardon me, moving around with the itches and twitches, right? So fix your hair now and pull your shirt down and get all that out of the way. And we'll get started. So take a moment to feel your feet on the ground. Feel your fingertips and begin to notice your sensory environment. What are the sounds that you hear beyond the sound of my voice? What is the light like in your space? Allow your eyes to close or take a soft gaze. And with each exhale, sink a little more deeply into your seat, feeling the stability of the ground beneath you. With each inhale, become a little more expansive. Sit a little taller in your seat, reaching the crown of your head towards the sky. Allow a full relaxation of your body while still sitting upright. You can also be lying down if you prefer, but the body should be awake. Long spine, relaxing wherever you can let go. From the crown of the head, softening, across the forehead, between the eyebrows, the muscles of the eyes, and jaw, relaxing your neck and shoulders, allowing your arms to hang heavy, palms open. Allow the center of the heart to be expansive, opening with each inhale, softening on the exhales. Relax through the middle belly and the low belly to receive the breath. Softening in the hips, pelvic floor, through your glutes and thighs, keeping just enough tension to sit upright, length in the spine, awake and present, relaxing through your legs and feet, unclenching your toes, This is a meditation from Mark Nepo. Sit quietly and try to breathe your way to center. Simply breathe your heart open. Try to feel both your aloneness and what you share with every other human being. Breathe deeply and slowly and try not to comprehend this, but just to feel it. Let's stay with this heart-centered breath for several repetitions.
allowing a little more openness with each inhale. Softening with each exhale. Let's take 10 breaths. After your 10th exhale, come back into your natural breath, releasing control, and just taking a few moments to notice the effect of just a few minutes of breathing. I teach yoga, as some of you know, from the Kripalu lineage. That's the teachings of Swami Kripalu. You'll sometimes hear at the beginning or end of a yoga class the Sanskrit word namaste, uttered often with hands in Anjali Mudra, a hand gesture that means offering. Literally, namaste means I bow to the divine in you. Ram Das said, I honor the place in you in which the entire universe dwells. I honor the place in you which is of love, light, peace, and joy. When you are in that place in you and I am in that place in me, we are one. My teacher, Yoganand, who was a disciple of Swami Kripalu, it said in teaching yoga, yogic philosophy that there is a vast ocean of consciousness. From that state of oneness, a wave develops. And from that wave, a drop becomes free. The drop looks down at the ocean and says, Wow. The moment of wow is the moment of differentiation, of the drop realizing it is different and separate from the ocean. From that, <coughs> excuse me, from that moment arises the question of who am I? We begin to feel our separateness from the vastness of the universe, our uniqueness, and individuation. 13th century Sufi poet Rumi states, you are not a drop in the ocean. You are the entire ocean in a drop. One of the best parts of these virtual classes has been the feeling of being part of something bigger than ourselves. Even in our separateness, we're part of a network, a living, breathing, thinking, and loving network. So let's take another moment to find comfort in our seats. If you need to shift, this is a good time to do that. <coughs> Please excuse my cough. 
Allergies are bad at the moment. And again, reestablish your connection to the earth. Beginning to build your seated posture from the ground up. Feeling the effect of gravity holding you firmly in place. With each exhale, reestablish that connection to the earth, to your rooting and grounding. With each inhale, allow the buoyancy of the inhale to draw you up, expanding into the space around you and up into the spaciousness above you, the sky getting just a little taller with each inhale, reaffirming your awakeness, your aliveness, the energy flowing through your body. From this central core of energy where the breath moves, allow everything else to release and flow down like water the shoulders and arms, the legs. From the strength of the inner body, a softening of the outer body. With each exhale, imagine that you're sending roots deep into the earth. It, said, it is said, <coughs> pardon me, that trees in a grove communicate with each other through, through their root systems and even through their branches. So imagine that your roots are growing deep into the earth, connecting you firmly. And then the roots begin to grow out, reaching, reaching to make connection with the other roots. Beginning to build this network of connectivity. reaching to the sides in front of you, behind you, all the way around. With each inhale, imagine that you can draw energy from the earth, from this connectedness, in and up. With each exhale, Settle your energy even more deeply into this rootedness, sending information out through your root system, connecting to Earth. Take several breaths with this idea of drawing energy from the earth beneath you and sending the energy back out. Breathing between the root system and heart center. Feeling both your aloneness and what you share with every other human being.
from heart center. Allow this energy to rise up out of the top of your head, the crown of your tree, and well above you, sending out your canopy of branches, new leaves, reaching for the sky, for the sun, for the rain, for the connection. Imagine that as you inhale, drawing your energy up and sending it out into the canopy of your tree that you are creating a canopy of safety, connectivity, peace, imagining the quiet in the heart of the forest. We'll move into a period of silent meditation. For about 10 minutes.
begin to deepen your breath, bringing small movements into fingers and toes. When you feel ready, bringing palms together in front of you, begin to rub gently and a little more vigorously, beginning to build some heat. And when your hands are nice and warm, draw them up and cup your eyes, feeling the heat penetrate. Slowly blink your eyes open and release palms down. We'll seal our practice with one chant of Om for the community we create when we meditate together. If you'd like to join, bringing hands to heart center, we'll inhale. Om. Om Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me and with each other.